my other presentation, I did a project, precision phenotyping in migraine using topological data, data analysis, visualizing the spectrum of migraine clinical features. At Mayo Clinic in Rochester, we have an established headache database that collected all the headache initial consultation information as well as subsequent visit information. So over the past 20 years, we collected more than 1,500 patients with migraine. And after restructuring and processing of the data, we included 4,600 patients with migraine in our analysis. We utilize this tool called topological data analysis, which is a state-of-the-art unsupervised machine learning approach. So it's a novel AI approach to investigate the intrinsic patient similarities, so the intrinsic phenogroup between patient groups. We, um, our analysis showed that among those 4,000 patients with migraine, our um, state-of-the-art unsupervised machine learning approach, topological and data analysis identified four distinct phenol groups of patients with migraine. More interestingly, when we associate the um, four phenol group with their MIGDIS score, migraine disability score, we found that the four phenol groups have quite distinct average migrant, uh, average MIDAS score. So their average MIDAS score was 60s, 80s, 90s, and 100, indicate that have, um, they have quite distinct level, different levels of migraine associated disability. So we think that this novel um, unsupervised machine learning algorithm called topological data analysis was able to help us in addition to distinguish between patients that have different clinical phenotypical features, it also correlate with migraine associated disability. Whenever we look at their clinical variables, we in our study, we included 29 clinical variables that included, for example, headache days, um, headache pain intensity, the number of acute and preventive medications tried, and also um, their headache location, education status. We found that there was significant between group difference in 22 out of the 29 variables. So that means that the four groups are quite different. We found that the headache location like where the headache typically start, either frontal on the side or in the back, is the most important feature that distinguish between phenol groups. So I think the one um, the one sentence summary is that we leverage this novel um, topological data analysis tool to explore the intrinsic phenotypes in our patients with migraine seen at our tertiary headache center. And we were able to identify several clinical features such as headache location, education status, and hormonal association that distinguish between the phenogroups.